Hey guys, Crypto Dad here again, and today I'm going to show you how to switch over to the new Brave browser. So let's get started. Okay, so the new version of the Brave browser has just come out. If you're not aware, Brave browser is a web browser that blocks ads and tracking by default. So it's a much more private and uh, enjoyable browsing experience than what you're probably used to. And they've also just added a brand new feature that will allow you to get paid for watching ads. The way this works is if you enable Brave ads in the browser, you're going to get occasional alerts that will offer you to watch an ad. Now you can dismiss the alerts. You don't have to watch every ad that they uh, offer up to you. But if you click the ad and open it up for a few seconds, you'll get paid in basic attention token, which is the built-in token of the Brave browser. There's a built-in wallet in the Brave browser. And as you watch these special Brave ads, you'll accumulate BAT in your wallet. And eventually, you'll be able to use this BAT to purchase special offers, coupons, gift cards, things like that. So it's a very exciting way to interface with the internet. You're not going to get splashed with ads when you go on websites. You're going to get uh, ads blocked by default, and then you'll get special offers to view ads that you'll get paid to watch. So it's very exciting. So I'd like to demo it a little bit for you, and I'm going to show how you can uh, switch over to it, and I'm going to explain how you can do a clean install for those of you who are already using it. So uh, let's just jump in. I'm gonna show you a couple of the features before I go through the install. Okay, so I'm currently running Brave Browser right now, and uh, I'd like to just show you some of their full page ads. Uh, now, uh, my interests run to uh, you know cryptocurrency and uh, security, privacy, anonymity, that kind of thing. So uh, these are the kind of ads that are popping up for me. So basically what will happen is down here on the right corner of the screen behind me, uh, you'll get a, an alert uh, from the browser. And it looks uh, very similar to a Windows alert. I think it's integrated in with Windows. And it will allow you to uh, either close it or uh, click on it to launch the ad. All right, so uh, you can see a couple here that uh, popped up for me, and I opened them. All right, and then basically you just open up the ad. You can read it. Uh, you don't have to click through uh, in order to qualify for uh, getting paid. So if we go over here uh, to the settings uh, in the hamburger menu, you can pull down here to see Brave Rewards. All right, and I've got the uh, Brave Rewards activated and I've got the ads activated. This is a new feature. It used to say uh, coming soon. So now that I have this activated, you can see here that uh, I've earned a little bit of bat already just from watching ads. And you can see here that uh, ad notifications that I received were nine. And uh, I'm slowly earning bat, all right? And so that, ad, that bat is going into the built-in wallet. Here's my built-in wallet, and uh, you can see there's quite a bit of bad in mind because I've been using it, uh, the Brave browser for quite a while. I actually uh, did a test deposit a while back. Uh, as it turns out, this is a one-way wallet, so you're welcome to add uh, some BAT into it if you purchase some, but you're not going to be able to withdraw that uh, BAT. So the only way uh, you can use the bat that's in this wallet is to auto-contribute to people that you like to watch. And then uh, they have a feature coming soon where you'll be able to purchase gift cards uh, and uh, special coupons and those sort of things. But it'll all be within the Brave browser ecosystem. All right. And so you can see here that uh, sites that you normally visit uh, will be set for auto contribute all right and you can adjust these settings if you like right you can decide how much you want to send uh, how long you'll be visiting the site and you can also give tips so I'd like to explain how you install the browser 
Uh, it's pretty simple, uh, but there are a couple of things that you might need to take note of if you already have uh, the Brave browser running and you want to do a clean install. Now, if you uh, just allow Brave to do the update on its own, uh, it works just fine. It worked for me this time. It doesn't always work uh, flawlessly. Sometimes it won't uh, run the upgrade. So uh, sometimes you have to uh, completely exit the browser and re-download and reinstall. So if you decide to do that, though, you'll want to go over here to the Brave Rewards and hit Settings and you'll want to do a backup. You can see here that is the recovery key for the Brave wallet that I currently have. You can save it as a file as well. Uh, you can print it out. Uh, you're just going to need these, this recovery key to restore the wallet if you do a clean install. And then you'll also want to export your uh, browser uh, shortcuts. All right. So you can hit hamburger menu and go to bookmarks and then go to import bookmarks and settings. And I'm not going to do an import, right? What I'm going to do is go over here to bookmarks. When I'm in the bookmarks tab of the settings, I can click these three dots that are over here in the top right corner. And then I've got the export bookmarks. Now this is what you want to do so you'll have a seamless experience. So we'll hit export bookmarks and then we can just drop them anywhere we want. I'll just start, drop mine in downloads. You can see that I've done it before. So this is the most recent version of my bookmarks file. I'll just hit save there and save that. And then uh, if you have any cryptocurrency wallets, you might want to make sure that those are backed up. I've got Tron link. So in my case, I'm just going to do an export of this account and it shows me my private key which I can uh, copy and then uh, put that in a safe place while I do the browser up. Alright so and if you're running Chrome uh, you might want to do an export as well before you switch over to Brave browser. Alright and in this case you can hit the three dots up in the top corner go to bookmarks and you'll want to go to the bookmark manager and in the bookmark manager of Chrome, you can hit the three dots there and do your export bookmarks that way too. And the reason that I do that export in Chrome, uh, it's so when I uh, import from Brave, I'm not going to get a folder. As you can see here, it says imported from Chrome. And then you have to sort of move all of your uh, bookmarks into the bar. It makes it more seamless if you export your Chrome bookmarks as an HTML file and then when you uh, import after you've launched Brave you'll have all of the bookmarks uh, the way you like them. Alright so I'm gonna close down here I'm gonna run over to uh, the Brave website we can go to download up here if you need some more choices uh, you can choose the 64, 32, Mac OS, or Linux. Most likely it's going to know which OS you're running and give you the appropriate download button here. All right, we can just drop this into our downloads folder, or you can throw it on your desktop, whatever uh, you like. All right, so you can see I've got the Brave browser there. Now I'm going to get rid of my old Brave browser. So to do my clean install, I'm going to uninstall my old Brave browser. So I can just go over here to Settings and Apps. All right, and there's Brave. I'm just going to do an uninstall. All right, and I've got the developer version of Brave, but that is not going to interfere with this. Now, uh, the one thing you'll want to do if you want to clean install is you're going to need to go over to your C drive, right, into the users folder. And uh, there's a folder there with your name on it. And inside that folder is a hidden folder called app data. And if you don't see it, you can go over here to view options, uh, the view tab, and make sure that you have show hidden files and folders and drives enabled. Uh, you'll be able to see the app data folder. You just uh, double click, go into local, and you can see here it says Brave Software. 
and then the Brave browser. I'm just going to get rid of that folder. I'm just going to move it out over to my desktop. So uh, I'll have a new folder when I install Brave. Um, you can save that if there's anything you think you may need that's in there. But as you saw, I uh, backed up my uh, bat wallet and I backed up my uh, bookmarks. All right, so let's run the install. Alrighty, and there we go. Uh, I've got a clean version of Brave. So uh, one of the first things I'll do is uh, import that uh, Brave wallet. Okay, so I've got a little alert over here. Uh, I had an extension in there before that it wants to uh, re-enable. Um, I can do that. All right, that's all well and good. Now I want to get down to the brass tacks here. I'm going to hit the hamburger menu and I'm going to go over to Brave Rewards. We'll say, yes, I'm in. All right, and you see there I've got an empty wallet. So let's just uh, maximize here. All right, I'm going to go to the gear shift. I'm going to do a restore. And I can do an import and just navigate over to that file that I backed up. Well, I have it over here. That is the file-based uh, export that I saved. And boom, it just restored all that uh, bat that I had in my wallet before. All right, now uh, on to the uh, bookmarks. Uh, I'm gonna go over here to the hamburger menu again and I'm going to go to bookmarks and I'll do an import bookmarks and settings and in my case I'm going to do a uh, bookmarks HTML file because that's what I had backed up. You can also import uh, bookmarks from your other browsers as well. So I'm going to choose the file and I drop that in my downloads folder. It's the most recent one and I'll just hit open and boom got all my bookmarks back all right now I can install that uh, Tron link wallet extension later it's not a big deal so uh, let's take a look at where we stand now you can see here they've got a new tab based uh, settings area so on this tab we've got brave rewards enabled and we have ads enabled and uh, I don't have any ads yet now you don't have to do this. Uh, you can disable this so that you don't have to uh, be presented with any ads. And as you uh, recall, you're going to get an alert. The ad isn't just going to pop up in front of you. You'll get an alert uh, telling you that there's uh, an ad uh, available for you to view. And you can either close that or uh, watch it. It's up to you. All right. So, uh, but if you don't want those alerts at all, you can just disable ads completely. All right. So I'm going to let it roll, uh, wait for an ad to pop up and then watch it and uh, get paid. All right. Now, uh, these uh, payments that you'll receive will accumulate in your wallet. And like I said, you can't withdraw the bat uh, to an exchange or a different wallet but you will be able to do in-browser purchases of gift cards and uh, special coupons and special offers and things like that. So this is going to be really exciting. Now uh, also remember that the Brave browser blocks ads and tracking by default. So uh, most of the websites that you visit, you're not going to see ads. All right. And then you're also going to be able to tip other people that have uh, tipping banners on their website. All right, so uh, I hope this helped. Uh, it's a pretty easy switch to go over to Brave. Uh, if you value your privacy and uh, you don't uh, particularly care for ads, uh, it's the way to go. That's the new paradigm. Uh, advertisers are gonna start paying you to watch their ads and you're going to be able to use those tokens that you accumulate to uh, purchase special offers within the browser. 
So it's going to be pretty exciting. If you have any questions about anything I did, throw them up in the comments and I'll do my best to get them answered. I'd like to remind everyone that I have a live stream every Friday night, 6 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. Please join me for the live Q&A in LA. Throw out any questions that you may have. I'll try to get them answered the best I can. Hope to see you there. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you'd like to subscribe to my channel, I'd appreciate it. When you subscribe, there's a little bell that you can click that will allow you to be alerted whenever I post new content. Once again, thanks for joining me and hope to see you again soon.